good morning. So as far as starting out, getting my trail legs and whatnot, this has got to be one of the easiest trails to do it on. Israel National Trail, you start out going straight up a hill. Pacific Crest Trail, first day you're going up hills. Um, Colorado Trail, same. You're climbing, baby. But this marks the end of my detour. I found the trail again. Alright, for water cache number two. And Ray is a man of his word. There is water in there. Last words from Warhammer. If I don't see you, have an awesome time. Now we don't even have markers. Just empty desert. Places you can get water in this part of the desert. Alright, so according to Freebird, correct? I'm now the leader of the pack. You are the leader of the pack. Okay. Sweet, and you're through hiking. I am. And what's your time frame? Raven, is this your first time? No, but I'm doing part. Okay. I'm not Sweet. Well, it's nice to meet you guys, and uh, we can't even climb the trail. So. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, so that whole section after the first water cache, yep. we were like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It says it's over there, but I don't see it. Yeah. According to Freebird, a hiker tripped a camera last night because I'm the only one. I was the only one hiking last night, it must have been me. The Border Patrol was talking to them and they're looking for the hiker. So I've literally, you know, been on the trail like a day and a half and I already have uh, cops after me. Figures. Now it's starting to feel like a real trail. Between the, the two water caches, uh, it's like 20 miles. And one of my water container bags broke last night on the first day. You believe it? I had like two uh, two liters, two liters of water, and this is what I have left. I still have like six miles to go. I think I'm doing pretty good conserving water. I'm like a freaking camel. Oh, well, this is a much better setup than I thought. There's a little no here, and it says, "Hikers, please turn off faucet after use. Please don't touch the pump electrical system. Have a good day." And it looks like a legitimate well. Pump's probably in that little thing here. We got water here. Yeah, this is totally good water. Hey cows. It's right now for the day. And I really need to go another seven more because I'm trying to do 25 on my second day. Just to kind of keep up the pace. Because the goal is to do 750 the first month. And if I don't do at least 25, I'm getting behind. Right now, my legs are chafing. In my groin region. My legs are sore. My feet are sore. I'm just tired. It's kind of been a rough 18 miles. I don't know why. I guess it is only my second day and it can be expected. It looks like I'll be setting up camp in the dark again. So be it. Things are starting to look kind of pretty. This morning, but most of the day I've kind of been up in the mountains a little bit in this little gully. And behind me, you see the remnants uh, of a mesa. It's like an eroded mesa, I think. Over there, we got like a rock perched on a top of another rock. See Let's play a game. Let's play who can find the Karen. The Karen is a trail marker that is in the distance. I came over the ridge here and I could not see it. Can you see it? There's a Karen. There's the Karen. What's it? It's one right here. According to gut hooks, there's supposed to be a gate right here through the fence. It's good and hot. The trail is a little rougher today. The third day, it's feeling more and more like a legitimate trail. Oh, 
there is zero shade out here. So I got to the first water cache of the day, which is actually the fourth water cache um, from the water. Decided to hop inside here because it's hot out there and there's no freaking shade anyway. <laughs> Maybe I need some of that sunscreen that like soaks into your skin. You know, that happens. And I try to get on it and I see a cairn across the desert. I walk to that and then I get to there and the cairn just disappeared. And then my phone stops working and my phone is my map. Maybe that's not the most reliable thing in the world but I need a backup. It just keeps turning on and off and on and off. When I try to like find out where I'm at, it just turns off. <sighs> All of a sudden it starts working again. And that's where I'm supposed to go, through that gate. Finally, the thing that got my phone to work was I just tossed it up in the air and let it slam to the ground. <laughs> and uh, it landed like on a rock, like right on the corner. Cracked the corner, but at least the thing started to work again. <sighs> anyway, I finally saw the Karen. Yeah, the Karen. It's that little post way out there. The other one's about a half mile that way small frustrations I know but damn it <laughs> this is me looking for a cairn <laughs> I really don't see it and this is why I couldn't see the cairn see you later cows so my GPS went all wonky again and I literally cannot find the trail. So I just put on uh, Google Maps, typed in Lordsburg and uh, I'm just kind of, I got like the blue, you know, map to it and I got my eye on the I-10 over there. That's the freeway. Lordsburg is on it. The trail was telling me to go that way and uh, in the opposite direction. Uh, where the app was so it didn't make any sense to me I kind of pondered it for a little bit and decided I'll just uh, follow this here road and uh, figure it out this is a brilliant setup I just screenshotted my GPS it says the trails over there maybe like a mile as you can see, my tent is an absolute mess. And because I'm going to town today, I'm just gonna throw everything in my backpack and get on the trail. So basically, I'm gonna go that way. Somewhere that way. Well, it's gonna have nice things these days, apparently. I was taking down my tent and uh, the pole broke. This is like a $500 tent and I literally uh, only used it three days. Look at that. But this is, uh, yeah, that is not cool. Starting out the day with a broken tent. <coughs> I think the day can only get better. Uh, I'm gonna try to find the trail now. Okay, I think I'm back on track. I'm on this road, kind of cut across the desert to get to it, and this road should uh, kind of take me to the trail somewhere over there. Um, <laughs> I feel really good today. It always happens, like on the third or fourth day, it's like your body just hits a wall. You just fall down hard, like on the ground, you know? And then you sleep for like 10 hours, just lay down, hardly move, and you wake up and you feel good. You feel like you're ready to go. 
It's a matter of breaking through that wall. That's all it takes. But once you do that, onward! Cairn, straight ahead! There's some more water. Let's go have a look. Just saw a rancher. Can't wait to check on his cows. He's back there. Uh, zoom in on him? No, not really. Anyway, super nice guy. Said he really likes talking to the hikers. And, uh, Said he hasn't seen any this year. Well, except for me. I guess I'm the first he's seen. Lost again. Where my microphone is. This feels more like a trail. Just kind of over that land. Following those cairns. It's Larsberg! Have to admit, I kind of miss the place. Heading back into Lordsburg. Well, as you can see, I made it back to Lordsburg. It's been four days. This is my fourth day, and I've gone 80 miles, which means that basically I've met my goal. So when I started out, my goal was to do 20 mile average per day. And I did a little more than that because today uh, I only hiked like 15 miles. Uh, so all in all, I'm happy with my pace. I'm happy with my progress. Um, so yeah, I've gone about 80 miles of this 8,000 mile epic journey, which is about 1%. And I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. Um, overall, my body is feeling okay. Uh, have like a of course soreness because that's what happens when you get your trail legs the biggest thing would be the sunburn on the back of my legs um i gotta remember to put on sunblocks so stupid mistakes that you make sometimes are the worst the first uh first section of this trip there were mishaps like more mishaps than i've ever had on a uh on a, on a through hike um you always anticipate a couple things going wrong but this was quite a bit. First of all, I got lost a lot. Um, second of all, my phone had problems. The other thing was my tent. This was unstaked it, and I was shaking it out, you know, to get the to get the sand out because because the wind blew all night last night, and the rain fly doesn't go all the way to the ground, so it was like literally just like blowing sand like underneath the rain fly and into the tent. So There's all kinds of sand and dirt in there, so I just lifted it up to kind of you know get that sand out and the, the pole just snapped in half and I've done that hundreds of times with other tents and that's never happened to me other than that yeah water issues I definitely had some water issues well I mean there's plenty of water out there don't get me wrong there's plenty of water between all the cow ponds and the water caches but uh so I did run really low on water last night and this morning but as soon as i got to a good water source and it was good to go so i guess right now i'm just gonna unpack my stuff take a shower go get some beer and maybe a burger this is dangeroso signing off Gotta get some change for laundry.